Welcome back to the broadcast, everybody. How are you guys today? I'm Miss Shine Light Seven. Welcome back, my returning subscribers, and thank you for coming and being a part of this channel. And if you are new here, welcome again. Welcome and make sure you subscribe, like, and share. This is a 21 plus reading, raw, uncut, unfiltered, unbiased reader. I don't know what the messages will be before the messages come out. So please take only what resonates with you and leave the rest. Suggestions and questions can be left in the comment section below. This is a general reading. It will not resonate with every single one of you. So if it does not resonate, may you click out and come back on another day when the energy has changed. As well as make sure you subscribe, like, and share, and hit that bell notification along with that thumbs up so you don't miss the next upload. Hey, 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 guys. How are you guys today? I already pulled the as above and so below, the use and the tell. And at the bottom of the deck is after and again and after. Okay, so you're going to use and tell this information. So I know you guys have heard... Um, about those motivational speakers that be having platforms on here and and his name is calm Derek Jackson okay and he was it's a been a big 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 you know because this guy is really you know like a, a person that talks to talk but doesn't walk the walk about being a good man and about black men don't cheat and x y and z okay y'all so today i'm here to you know reiterate what i've been saying for months now about nuptials i said something about nuptials the other day about and i think it was in the one of the ugliest thing i think it was with the leprechaun guys girls I don't really remember the readings. When I, they come out, they come out. I title them. I, I, I forget all about it because they are channeled when I'm doing it. So at the end of the day, I don't really remember. I just know that I talked about it. So when I talk about men, I talk about men in general. I don't just talk about one color versus the other because I'm unbiased. You know, this is unbiased, unfiltered. Um, you know, I don't really, you know, one way or the other care what color you are, really. Okay, so let's talk about, you know, how... You know, these women are us women, okay, because I'm a woman too. Us women, we fall prey to very cunning. And I told you about cunning men. And I told you about cunning women. And I talk about those master manipulators that, you know, like I always look at a cancer as like a real true crab. You get me? Like, you know, they're going to keep you. You know, be very intelligent, very, you know, in in their emotions. They can feel their emotions. They know, you know, how to finesse a woman. And then, then when they get you, they just rip you apart and eat you while you're standing there. You know what I mean? Like kind of, that kind of thing, you know, with their claws. You know, they just, to me, you know. And not only that sign, but Libras men for me, Aquarius men for me, okay, Scorpio men for me, okay? Um, and that's just in a Pisces man. I'm going to put Pisces in there because they're so wishy-washy. I have to put them, okay? So just in general, you know, not to talk about one sign versus the next, but as we get to know, you know, ourselves and our, our relationships and the men that we decide to be with, right? We be with these men and we find out, you know, oh, he's so fine. He's this and that. And then they got platforms. They got a lot of followers. They got a lot of this and a lot of that. And, you know, they got a lot of gift for gab is what I call it, you know. And, you know, when it comes down to us ladies accepting our man's behavior. So once you decided that the man was cheating, you're going to move out, right? You're going to move out. And then this man not only brought a woman to your home and have sex or whatever they did, they touched or whatever the case may be. Touching, licking, kissing, holding, whatever. You in my crib, you in my bed, you in my house. It's a problem, okay? So me personally, he would have never been able to, you know, talk his way out of that. He would have never first been able to use my heavenly father as a crutch to deceive me, first of all. Number three, okay, in this situation, okay, 
Know your worth. Know your value. And once they cheat, always cheat. Okay? So this man will never be able to tell me, yeah, he was all right. Ready, you know, you know, thought he had it. The shit is in the bag. But he was really just covering up what he was. Okay? So... What I'm talking about today is, that's not our, our reading today, but if it comes out, it comes out. Maybe you'll learn something. Maybe I'll teach you something in this energy about deceitful men and to know the signs and signals of a deceitful man in your life, okay? Um, because, you know, some women are very naive. And like I always tell y'all before, some women just don't want to know the truth. I got a man and I'm going to keep my man. But when they continuously do it, because men have this idea that, and this is not a bashing of a man or nothing like that. This is not a bashing. But men have this idea. Why do I need to just give one woman all of me when I have so much more to give of me? And maybe you didn't push him to do it. Or maybe you didn't say, you know, anything about it. Maybe it was his own recontinence to do it. Or whatever the case may be. Okay? Just know your man true and out, okay? I tell you, I don't mess with men. I, I could give you a story, which happened like within the last couple of days, weeks, few weeks. You know, meeting a person that was very cunning, okay? Meeting them, come to find out they're a sex offender, you know, and, you know, a liar, okay? So... Just know, when you dealing with a person, make sure you get a background check on these people. Because now this is a day and age where people are very lie. They're like catfishers. They just catfish for whatever they can find. If they can get you to li li believe their lies, they will. Okay? So this is the use and the tell. And this is the as above and so below. The again and after. Because this thing's going to happen over and over and over again. And since we have to know that this is going to happen over and over and over again, you'll get me to give you readings over and over and over again mentioning the same types of things may be different may be the same maybe a few words different change whatever the case may be but each reading that i do will pertain if i'm talking to my ladies that's out here you know wanting to know you know the truth about you know who we are with and who are we laying with and why are we laying giving our temples to these people if they are untrue to us Okay, so let's use the using the tell. Let me go around the table and talk about who's here and who's not. Okay, so we still got that hunger game out here. So they hungry for whatever they could get. Attention seeking, you know, this is why they do that. Attention seeking, you know what I mean? I told you, lust, a, a, a vanity, you know, that, that, and that's part of the spirit of the God, you know, being vain. And, and, and like I told you yesterday, when the peacock came out, conceitedness, okay, when I'm, I'm conceited and I got a reason. You know, Remy Ma, not <laughs> young M.A. like I always be calling, but it, I'm a conceited, I got a reason. Yeah, that girl, okay, when well, she talked about that. But we got these men that are out here like that too, and we might have them as our boyfriends, our lovers, as our companions, our spouses. We might even have them as our, you know, friend, you know what I mean? And they deceiving us, okay? Now, when it comes down to you being this person's spouse, where is the fine line of no? It's it's over, you know? It's, it's no more. You are delusional, and this is a lie you're trying to make me live with you, okay? And if you choose, so choose. This is not a bashing. This is not a choice. This is not to say what you should do or what you shouldn't do. But this is also to give you an eye opener to seek more in your relationship. Okay. The balance in it, the ebb and the flow, the equally yoked. But then when you're dealing with a cheater, my, my, my. Okay, y'all, let's go. Okay, that's enough of that. Okay. 9 11, <laughs> twin flame. So, three of cups, talking about a third party. <laughs> okay celebrating talking about a union you and them talking about the queen of wands the passion in this woman but in the other one it talks about black magic with a black cat underneath her feet this is talking about in the elements okay passion you know around adventure Passionate for herself, passionate for her job, passionate for her kids, passionate for, you know, her lover, passionate for, you know, success and, and prosperity, wealth, and health, and, and, you know, things like that. Compassion. Compassionate person. 
the Ace of Swords, talking about standing in our truth. We're going to talk about it. Also, the King of Swords, we're going to see if he's going to stand in his truth and talk to us. All right, so we have the truth out here. The truth, the way, and the light. We're going to see the truth in the way and the light. But if you can look at that fire, it kind of represents like a dog or like a, a wolf or coyote or something like that going through it. So, you know, it tells me that it's like mm, vicious, a vicious fire. Okay. That's what it's talking about to me. And then I got down at the bottom. I got the sexual magic. So I want to see what drives this. Okay. And let's see. Drives it is fertility. Di drives it is doves. To think the thought of love. Um, what else drives it is the goat being good in bed. Also what drives it is passion. That drives it. Okay. Okay. Lust. And temptation, bondage with, with 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 fetish, okay. And this is the six of wands. Six of wands talks about you know victory, wanting victory in a situation, okay, circumstance or place, okay, okay. So this is what drives it, and this is the baskets that they weave in these endeavors, okay. I also have the rope out here, so they'll rope you in these different things on the rope. Okay. Okay. And then they'll gray rock you, hoover you, and show projection to you by letting you walk away after they know they've been deceitful. Lie to you and manipulate you in a cunning way. We've talked about this numerous, numerous of times. Okay. As well as, okay, this is the hang woman. Keep you in a hanging suspense about what's your life, li what, 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 where do your love lie? Did you make a mistake? Is this not for the truth, the way and the light? You know, is this not the truth of my life? Is this not the truth of the matter in my life that, that my man is a cheater? Is that not the truth? That's why we hanging from a tree with the X at the top. And two extra lovers beside it, okay? And it's telling me that's 12, which is a third party, which we already have the three of cups at the top. C emotional about a third party, okay? He's emotional for it. And then this is the next part of it, okay? The next part of it is the three of cellos, so three, three, three. Yesterday was two, two, two. Now we're on the 23rd, and the Aries energy has come through with that fiery, passionate energy. Okay, so this is why this man has really, excuse me, y'all, one second. This is why this man has fiery, fiery passion jumped up so quickly within the last couple of days. And he has been the topic of discussion. The topic of discussion is him right now. And his wife, she left out last year, 2020. You know, 2020 was a hard year for a lot of people, you know. 2020, you know, brought us, you know, all of us to our knees, you know, and it also brought her to her make decisions, you know, to move forward when she moved out of the house because she had to go deep inside of herself to figure out who she was with, what kind of narcissist, what kind of malignant, covert narcissist was she with? Because those are the people that she was with. What kind of sociopath? Okay. Psychopath. I don't know. You know, you figure it out. Which one? Because this is a liar, deceiver, a motherfucker that can talk to you with a straight face and be lying to you all the while. Okay? That's what I'm talking about. Because he leaves you in the hangman like, yeah, it was your fault. Okay? That's how that's how he's going to leave you. Okay? Deceived. Or like you didn't know or you didn't understand or you can't understand or like you're Maybe dumb or stupid or, you know, um, or like you're not good enough. Okay. Okay, y'all. I'm going to move forward because I have the phone out here. Got the telephone out here. So there was calls made. They was wheeling on the wheel. I got a half a wheel here on this side here. So they was wheeling halfway. They was wheeling in it a little bit. And this is the rotate rotor. What they call it? The rotating, 
rotary phone, okay? Where you got to dial in the thing, go round and round. Dial in the thing, go round and round. Okay, so that's what that tells me. This is a go round and round type of man. Go round and round all the time, okay? He round and round. He ain't never, you know, even when you think he's talking with the talking stick, talking the truth, okay? And walking in beauty, okay? Because he is a good looking man. It's a white bu buffalo out here, though. Cold. Cold in his energy, okay? You got our elders out here, too. I'm not gonna pull on them right now, but I'm gonna pull on these. Um, I'm gonna pull on the celebration. And who is this? Who's the celebration with and why? This is a master shit, okay? This is that mat three of pentacles, that master shit. They like the master, like I said, master. Look at this dunce, dunce hat. They got on three of them a red, a black, and a white. The pure, the dark, and the blood. The, 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 the holy trinity of it, okay? The truth, the way, and the light. The, the holy trinity. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, okay? The, the, the holy trinity, okay? About the mastership of it. Okay? That's what we're talking about. Okay? So talk about the lovers. These two lovers here, they love you and love other things as well. You know, this is their quest for love. Okay? They're a quest for lovers. But they want a, a person that they can manipulate them. Not if you're smart. They don't want you. I'm sorry, girl. I'm not saying you're dumb or stupid or nothing. But I'm just saying that they like women that are easily manipulated. You might have a little bit of low self-esteem. You might have a little bit of self-value. I mean, low self-value, low self-worth, low self-reliance. Okay? You always look to him for the answers. And... He only talk from gift from gab. Something that, and I'm going to tell you another thing that men can do. That we didn't know that they could do. But I'm going to tell you today that they can do. Okay? Say they heard something from some, somewhere else. Okay? They will repeat it word for word what they heard. Say they listened to a preacher preach. Say they heard a guy talk about alpha males. Because they got these guys out here that tell men that you are not as equal to your woman as you claim to be. In the emotional spirit and blah, blah, blah. And these, you know, Hebrew men or Israelites men or whatever the case may be. I'm just giving you a heads up as an example of who these people are. Okay. And they get groomed by other males that tell them this and tell them that alpha males rule and da, 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 and da, 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 blah, blah, blah. Okay. And so what they do is they, they learn to finesse you. With your emotions, your lack of knowledge of men, your lack of integrity for yourself to know that your self-love is first. Because they know that you don't love yourself as much as you claim to love yourself. That's how they can get in on you. Okay? Now, I know a lot of people will say, okay, are you married? Are Listen, the reason is not because I don't want a man or can't get a man my reasoning is because i choose to live in my own control okay in my i don't want a man telling me i can't get dressed i can't wear a short skirt i can't wear this or can't wear that i wear what i want to wear that is a, a manipulative tactic that men like to use oh i don't want another man looking at my woman okay well you look at another woman when you walk down the street with her butt out You'll look at that, but you don't want me to do it, okay? So at that point, you know, I pick and choose. I like to date and sing the way I like it. I like to be in control of it. And not to say that I'm a narcissist or not or such, but they play for victory in this game. They play for victory. I win. I win even if I lose, I win, okay? I win even if I lose, okay? So talk about the Ace of Swords. That's talking about the leadership. I lead. Okay. I'm the head and not the tail. I'm the alpha male. Okay. In this energy. Okay. Talk about the king of swords. That's about the unity. The unity in this. Okay. We united in this relationship. You are mine. I am yours. But I am free to date who I want because I am not your equal. A lot of women would disagree with me that their man is like that. But we have a lot of men that are alpha males. Find out where your man is. If he a beta or alpha. What man is your man? Is he an alpha or he a beta? Okay, beta go for anything. Alpha man gonna run his show. Run the show. 
You know what I mean? Tell you what to do. Try to tell you what to do anyway. Try. I mean, I did use the word try. Okay. So now let's talk about some more things. At the bottom of the deck, we got regret though. Because at the end of the day, they regret who they are. You know, they don't, they lack empathy though. I'm going to just tell you that. They lack empathy. You know, they hungry, but they hungry for attention. They hungry for, you know, maybe eat sex. But maybe they hungry for intellect from another woman. Maybe they hungry for the lusting of another woman with, with, with like that flirts with them in a in a real provocative way, like a temptress, you know. She's very provocative. She talks very, you know, provocatively. Okay. Um, maybe that's what, you know, drives them. Okay. So let's talk about some more of this. Because this right here is really, you know, I, I I was rooting for Derek because, you know, I listen to him sometimes, you know, I, I I never was a woman that listened to men that, you know, talk about themselves in a third party. So when a man can talk about himself in a third party, that tells me that, you know what I mean? He is kind of sort of just skimming the top of what he's talking about, you know? And I always said from the t from the beginning, he would be the type of man that you'll wish you never fucked with because of how manipulative he was. I always figured that from the beginning because I never know men to talk about themselves in a third party. But he really does talk about himself in a third party. Why he was talking about himself in a third party? Because he was a third party. He was doing things. You get me? Where I thought he was a faithful man, but he wasn't. Okay. So, you know, and another girl on here on YouTube, she exposed him. I think her name was Tasha. Tasha, I think her name is. She's a like a comedian, but she be exposing people when they be out doing some, you know what I mean, asinine things, 2208. So, you know, I'm going to just give you some more of this because, guys, I really need you guys to know these things. And if you don't know who I'm talking about, look up um, Derek Jackson. I mean, I'm not promoting for him or nothing like that, but it's been a big controversy about him and his situation. You know what I mean? And being a liar, and you know, and he's not the only one. So he just took the mask off of the ones that are just like him. You get me? It just took the mask off him. Okay, the mask is off now. Okay, so now he can't put that mask back on for me, but he might be able to put that mask on for somebody else. But I want you to be able to see how they hoover you, how they gaslight you, how they put you in a shared fantasy with them, and then how they abort you and let you walk away. Okay, okay, that's what I'm trying to get you to understand. Missionary, that's their mission. Okay, in this energy. Gosh, y'all. Y'all got me preaching out here today. I don't know what I'm why I'm preaching about this, but I, I just don't want women to get caught up in this whole love affair. I don't care what man he is, okay? A man that talks about himself in the third party is really, you know, somebody you got to pay attention to because <laughs> they out here as seekers. A seeker and engineer. Those two came out on the white buffalo. A seeker. This is thirst for wisdom and truth wherever they are so like i told you those hebrew men the israelite men or i'm just using those, those as examples you know those beta alpha broadcasters that you go to you hear probably about oh we all brought alpha men and they tell you how you not equal one man i heard the other day say that it's no such thing as adultery um when you have a woman and your woman is not cheating because your woman is not your equal unless you um, are married to the second woman. And he was saying that was on the on Christian principles. OK, so I don't know where they're getting their doctrines and stuff from, but the Bible don't tell you nothing like that. OK, I ain't no Bible. So, you know, whatever. But I do know the Bible. My grandma taught me from a little child. She was born 1901 and I've been taught and learned by her for many 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 years about the bible okay so we got the seeker out here in the ability to commit to the path once found so once they find the path okay they can't commit to it okay why can't they commit to it <laughs> because they cheaters 
Okay? And then they engineer on this talking stick. This is the truth. The talking stick is the truth. Okay? And and they and the, and the ability to give creative energy a practical expression. Talents for designing, re resolution to common dilemma. So the, the common dilemmas of cheating, that's not a common dilemma to him. Because he's an alpha male. So he figures... <laughs> I could do this. You know what I mean? I'm manipulated enough. I can finesse her enough. She believes every word that I say. She hangs on to everything that I say. Okay? Reliance on solution without regard for emotional consequences. So he doesn't see that his wife walking away was a consequence. He didn't see that. No, because if he did, he wouldn't have been bringing another woman in their home to... Fool around, as he called it, quote unquote. Okay, so talk about the walk in their beauty. It's the visionary. It's the vision that the capacity to envision what is not yet conceivable to others. So you, as the wife, couldn't see it because it wasn't conceivable to you. Why wasn't it conceivable to you? Is because you couldn't see it because he had blindsided you with his other bullshit and rhetoric. Okay. Willingness to proclaim a vision without regards for personal gain. So he didn't see, I married you already. I don't seek to get another woman. You are my woman. You are my queen. You are my this. You are my that. Okay. So that would make you, you take your guard down as to vulnerability. Okay. So he, he, used, he, he made you defenseless in his, in his energy. I don't know who I'm talking to, but I'm talking to somebody. This night might be your energy, but you might have a man just like him. Okay? So, um, as well as selling insight to the highest bidder, compromising your vision to make it more acceptable. So now you're going to come back online, them two sitting up there holding hands with each other, and he's giving her the death grip squeeze on her hand. The little poor girl ain't even take a damn bonnet off her damn head. Okay? So at the end of the day, y'all, please know that I'm here to tell you guys. <laughs> I'm going to tell you right now, this deviant, to me, he a male prostitute to me. He might not do it for money, but he addicted to pushing and pulling in a relationship. Pushing and pulling, that's toxic. Now, he, he, he didn't seem like a toxic man from the start. <laughs> you see how far and long it took him to, for the mask to fall off? 12, 13 years for the mask to fall off. And see, you be with these people for this long. And then, and then the mask finally fall off. You get me? But it, you, it was red flags from the beginning. But you didn't notice because you were so mesmerized by what he looked like. And I ain't going out there to tell you to go out there and get yourself no ugly man, okay? I just want you to make sure that the man that you are going to be with, make sure you make him stand on his word and deed, okay? His word is bond, okay? Because once he stray from his word and his bond, okay? Now, that's a deal breaker, okay? If you didn't know, I'm telling you. Okay, and this is for my younger viewers, 25 and up, 35, 45, you know, because that's the age group you'll be at at some point in your life. Okay, right now you might have some puppy love going. And I'm also, I got one more message for you. If you are young and you don't wear your mask, please wear your mask, okay? Because there is still a pandemic. <laughs> there is still a, 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 a COVID-19 pandemic going around. Epidemic, really. Okay, so again... This is a visionary man, visionary. He uses your mind side to manipulate you into his own tactics, okay? Let's talk about it on the mastership. Hoffman, that's an a, a educator. That's a governmental. That's any kind of institution. So he's institutionalized you as a wife. Institutionalized you. So where you would get on TV... With your damn bonnet on, knowing that he got millions of followers and knowing that other women will be looking at this. And you didn't bring yourself together. You didn't bring your A game. You let him bring you out there, <laughs> put you out there, and your unbest. You get me? 
So that he didn't already stripped you of your who are you, who you are. <laughs> he already stripped you. <laughs> All right, so come with the quest. <laughs> Talk about it. <laughs> That's the quest right there. The nine of swords up at night. He up at night while you sleeping in bed. This is a person that would be up while you up. Oh, I got to still work, babe. <laughs> I'ma still do some work. And guess what he's doing on the phone while you while you while you sleeping? Get your rest, babe. Get your beauty rest. Be beautiful. <laughs> Get your beauty rest. I'm, and and they rotating on the phone, calling different people on the line. <laughs> okay? Talk about on this butterfly transformation, six of wands energy. Victory. Okay? Victorious in this. Okay? Because this ain't the first time. Look at that. As my biting horse, as my biting and cutting off horse there on this night. Didn't come out as an emperor. He came out as a knight. Okay. Okay. Now he in his wheelchair being crippled in this energy. Okay. I got two horns on the top of that crippling energy on the seven of. That's a, it's a seven at the top, y'all. I'm going to use seven at the top. Okay. And this is the chariot moving off in the leadership. Moving off, doing different things. Go out thinking he's going to the gym. How you know he ain't going out meeting another lover? May it be man, may it be woman, okay? <laughs> if you marry, your wife should know. But no, he's done <laughs> institutionalized you to the point where you can't see straight. Or another way they do it, sex. Sex you to the point where you're a napkin, almost. Okay, throw you up, trade, do all kind of fuck shit to you, make you to the point. Digmatize is what they call it. Okay, if you didn't know that, now you know. Okay. Also, the Eight of Pentacles. They work hard at this unity. They work hard. They put that hard work in. They give you hard dick bubble gum. Okay, hard dick and bubble gum. That's what they give you. <laughs> I ain't got a lot to y'all. Okay? And then you sitting there looking like a fool. An absolute fool. Riding for your man. Okay? When your man ain't riding for you because he's a sex addict. He might not sex the girl, but he had plans on it. it. Whatever it was, it wasn't for your marriage. Oh, I'm walking with God. I don't really believe the word of God that what God talked about was what he said. Okay? Which right there would have been a red flag to me. And we would have been getting counseling from somewhere on the principles of God. Okay. So let's talk about this person that's out here. The Six of Wands wanting victory in this situation. Being a GOAT. So this is your third eye chakra to your pioneer energy. That's your six. The six and six is back, right back out. So let's talk about it on the eight. On the seven. Alright. Love begins. So then when they get all caught up and get... Where everybody is in your business now. Now he'll make love to you. Baby, I'm sorry. Give you this real deep loving voice. The shit that make you fucking eyes cross backwards and up and forward. Okay? Because this is how they finessed you from the start. Okay? Institutionalized you on the hyphen. <laughs> Talk about <laughs> that is the third party right there. All right? So then they'll, after they lust after another woman or been tempted by another woman, here it is. They come back with their partnership and alliances again. We together, love, holding on to your hand, making things right. Three, three, three. I told you three, three, three is in its reading today. Okay? Third party is running. Third party is running on the 23rd. Okay? Also, patience and planning. So they patiently plan to manipulate you. They patiently do it. Patiently. Okay. 3414. All right. So this is the trust. They get your trust. They gain your trust back on the seeker. But it's in reverse, though. <laughs> so it ain't really the true trust that you wanted. It's just to get you back in their own grips. I told you a manipulator, a mastermind manipulator, can't see losing. At all. Win or lose, I'm winning. Lose, I win. Okay? <laughs> Engineer. <laughs> That's the prosperity. That's what you had when you came. But you ain't got no prosperity now. Because of all of the different things that they've been doing. Visionary. 
That's the careers. So he uses his career. Knowing many, 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 many women follow him on the talents. Listen to his word. So he didn't learn through the women, through comments, through whatever, you know, how to finesse you. Okay? To the point where now you moving out instead of kicking his dumb ass out. Because you desperate for a man. And like I said, not to call you no names, not to say that you were anything. But at the end of the day, he found a weakness in you. Okay? They prey on your weakness and your naive and your vulnerabilities. Okay? Listen, you guys. I will bring this back. The use and the tell. The as above and so below. You know? <laughs> we need to learn, you know, the men or the men that we want to have. And we need to make them walk the walk and talk the talk. And preach the preach that they preaching to us. But when you walk with a man that's manipulative, sometimes you get blindsided. So this is the blindsided reading today. <laughs> I've been blindsided. May you subscribe, like, and share. And hit that bell notification along with the thumbs up. Namaste. Namaste.